No. This is Checkpoint XP. Esports and gaming radio. CheckpointXP.com. We have a member of the cast who is struggling, and we're going to help him out. Welcome back to Checkpoint XP, your home for esports and gaming. I want to thank everyone listening on ESPN 1520 in Buffalo, ESPN 1200 and 1440 in Syracuse, and ESPN 1310 and 1350 in Utica, Rome. Checkpoint XP Daily is now a part of the B-Pod Network at bpodstudios.com for more great listening options like Nerd Radio and Geek Culture Congress, two shows that you can catch live at our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Checkpoint XP. Make sure you subscribe to them over at bpodstudios.com, the place to be for podcast discovery. Boy, one of our one of our cast members is struggling with, I think, an addiction at the moment. It's well, definitely a problem. It is a problem because Joe, wait, I've noticed, I, I I've noticed something. You've been about liking you some things on social lately, yeah. Uh, at, you know, spending time. I gave up caffeine. If that's what spending this is about. time on the weekends, role playing about it, liking mm-hmm. some tweets, mm-hmm. bringing it here to the he, show. He Joe specifically think, told me he was hype I th- for it. Yeah, I, I've I've heard I've heard hype for the Mandalorian TV show. I've heard I've seen you replay. Knights of the Old Republic recently. Yep. You're role playing a Star Wars campaign, Joe. I think, I think you can no longer accept the moniker of a lapsed Star Wars fan. All right, okay. Oh, come on, guys. All right, I it, see where this is it's going. It's not like he's gonna buy the new EA game or anything. <laughs> that I mean, is you, not. He, he that is, is not what he told me. He is Joe. He, he listen. He he is the only one of us that actually owns a copy of Battlefront 2. Joe. All of us said we were going to check out the canon story. I'm sorry. Norris, you also own Battlefront, don't you? Unfortunately. Yeah, okay. Joe. All right. So they got two of us. So so this new this new game that EA is putting out. You you you're going to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. You're yeah. going to buy mm-hmm. it? And <laughs> okay, so Joe I mean I I Joe, pre-ordered it. I mean that Joe! Oh well, my whoa. god, he spent oh his money. God. He spent wait, his you, money on it. Are you kidding me? You pre ordered right, it. Well, why did on. you what, wait? Hang on. Why? It? Why? No. Is there a, at least a good pre order bonus? Listen, you could have at least just got it on Origins for a dollar and played it for the month or something. What is this segment? I thought we were doing your favorite RPG. We're not doing no. your favorite RPG. No, this Joe. is officially an intervention. Focus, so, Joe. Joe, I have to say this. Your uh, agreement to purchase Jedi Fallen Order has affected me in the following ways. Number one, we had a perch, a non-purchase pack together mm-hmm. to not support not EA's pack. Star Wars efforts. Number two is that you were very vocal at the fact that EA would not get any more of your money. Three, you said you were not impressed with what you saw at the the preview videos, and now I see that that is a lie. I, 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 I have don't to think say, I said that about the on, preview Hold on, hold on. I have to say, my trust has also been shattered in you. You know what? Maybe this game would have been good if they'd have followed the original plan and had a female, what was the, the, the alien chick they were going to use, but no. The, the Twi'lek? Yeah, there you yeah. go. But no, we didn't think EA's words that people would resonate enough with this, so instead we put in a straight white man. I guess it worked. It worked. I huh? guess it worked, didn't it? Worked, it, Joe? Though, didn't it? It All right, I they got the it. Joker from I Gotham. Thought you, Joe, uh, I thought I thought you was woke. Well, hold I on. thought you was woke. <laughs> like, I still would have pre-ordered it with a Twi'lek girl. It'd have been even better. But I mean, I listen. I started reading the reviews that are out now. People have gotten their hands on it. The game's oh, the gone review, gold. The reviews. The reviews. The reviews. The obviously paid reviews, Joe. That's right. When was the last time you trusted IGN with anything? 
Yeah, hey, well, they joke. Uh, ethics in games journalism. To be Joe. fair, it wasn't an IGN review. I would not trust their review. <laughs> I believe, if I recall, they rated something as being equal to eating sand and gave it a three out of five. Ian, you know, Joe. I, I mean, I, look, I'm not. I'm not even mad that you want to play it. Like somebody here would have to play it, right? Yeah, we don't have a choice. Right. We got to do our. We due got. Diligence. We got to figure out what it is. Yeah. Okay, but you seem to have already sold your soul. You're supposed to go into this objective, yeah. Joe. Okay. Do your job. Be objective about it. Listen, man, I don't know. Do it looks really job. good. <laughs> like, Does they, it? Yeah. Does it? It really does. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think it does. They've got a lot of interesting stuff going on with the lightsaber. They say it actually feels fun to play, like to use that as a weapon, which so many times the lightsaber job. sucks. Uh, it, it gives me kind of that. No, um, no. You know what, Joe? You know what, Joe? Since you're doing this, sell me on this game. Sell me this yeah, game. Come on, right Joe. Now. Do so, your job. <laughs> when I look at the game and what I've heard of it so far, it strikes me as being a very Elder Scrolls esque take on no something like I Star Wars. That. The I whole that. no. Well, if you're not no, going to listen, no, no, no. hold on. The videos that I've seen okay. of this, you're going through hallways and jumping across I'm platforms. Dead. What's Elder, Elder Scrolls, Scrolls about that? Do you remember going through dungeons in Skyrim? Where's the open world though? To me, Where'd world that's that, what though? Skyrim is. Sure. Where'd overworld that? No, well, listen. I will. I will give you this for Skyrim. The appeal of Skyrim was the open world, but the reason I kept playing it so long was how many damn dungeons it yeah, had. Yeah, exactly. And, and I mean, the idea that you can, the game itself, there's a lot more to do besides just the story. It is sure. going around and exploring the ancient Jedi ruins and stuff like that. That gave me this feeling of like, wait a minute, that sounds an awful lot like doing the Daedric ruins in uh, in Morrowind, which was one of my favorite parts about doing that. Daedric ruins are always a ton of fun to explore. And you know what? While I do admit, God, I would have loved for a Twi'lek main character or really any, a Bith main character. I don't care. Anything but just another white human player would have been great. Man, I think part of it is I just really want a fun Star Wars game. It, uh -huh. And I'm not going to get it from anyone else. If well, you wanted you know a what? fun Star Wars game, they re-released Jedi Outcast well, on, on the Switch. Hold on. He may be looking forward to those surprise mechanics they inevitably put <laughs> That's into right. the game. The surprise mechanics. Lots right. Of fun I mean, it is EA that we're talking about here. So here's the thing about that. EA, almost like clockwork, we would know about them by now. The game's gone gold. It's ready to go. Why haven't we heard about them? How is it called a it's surprise called, mechanic hold on. if they told you, Joe? <laughs> yeah, Joe. I, I don't think that's why they call it. A Hang noob on. you are. Uh, let, let, let's, let's be clear, okay? Yeah. Microtransactions right. have tanked the last two Star Wars games for that sure. have come out of EA. I agree. I do not, for half a second, right. believe that EA is actually going to go to the step of not including them in the game. Right. There's no way we will know about them Day before. One patch. Yeah, exactly. Day before one, before the actual commercial release. I have to tell you this, though. If, if that is the route they go, where we have now had developers' copies available for review and all that, people have, have given their thoughts on it, and we find out that they are adding in like loot boxes or something on a day one patch after people have put their money in. Will you burn your game? Will you burn your copy? No, it doesn't matter. EA already or got it 60 bucks. They That's already right. got the money at that point, although I could ask for a refund whether or not I would get it. You ain't question. never getting that money but back. The riot that they would have on their hands. I mean, think about the riot they saw with Battlefront 2. It was so severe, they actually changed stuff about it but and guess it what? their game. But guess what, Joe? They've already got yeah. your money. Yeah. And, and here's the issue. Fine, fine. This is some huge, big controversy. People boycott EA. They change whatever. Two years from now, you're buying the next game. Yep. Yep. You ain't changed. See, you even know. You ain't changed. You, even know. you ain't changed. Which is why we're having this intervention. I yeah. know. Well, it's like, yeah, I don't really even call myself a lap star. Tell me Wars now fan. you will accept this help. No. Tell me now you will accept this help. <laughs> no. Or you will have to be, or game. you will have to be ostracized from this I'm family. I'm gonna yeah, play this game. Own. I'm gonna love it. It's gonna be great this time, guys. They won't hurt me again. I, uh -huh. I would love to believe that. But they only hurt me because I make them. <laughs> the only people being hurt here are us. <laughs> by you, Joseph. <laughs> we have to find a new news desk. Yeah, there's. I mean, clearly he can't be objective. We have to find a new news desk. I'm Why sorry, can't you guys Joe. just let me enjoy my game? I'm sorry. Get out! <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, well, listen, we want to hear from you. We want to know how Joe's addiction has affected you in the following ways. <laughs> Connect with us on social media. It's Checkpoint XP on Facebook and Twitter. 
and Checkpoint underscore XP on Instagram. Thanks for joining us for Checkpoint XP Daily, the first internationally syndicated show on esports and gaming for radio. Visit our website, CheckpointXP.com, for insight on esports and gaming, as well as a wide collection of podcasts and interviews. Join us Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern, live at twitch.tv slash CheckpointXP. Our theme is provided by the band Weird at Last. Find more at weirdatlast.com. Checkpoint XP Daily is a production of Beasley Esports. XP, lead segment producing by Joe Sloan, brand management by Chad Callahan, and of course my co-host who pull double duty as producers for Checkpoint XP Daily, Robbie Landis, Norris Howard, and Joe Sloan. My name's A. Bender. Keep listening.